A recent TV series about Maine game wardens has brought some long overdue attention to the men and women who serve our state. John Ford is a 20-year veteran warden who kept journal entries throughout his career and has turned his collection of stories into a new book entitled, Suddenly the Cider Didn't Taste So Good. In it, Ford recounts his adventures that are at some times serious and other times touching. He spoke with Brian Knobloch at his Brown Bag Lecture at the Portland Public Library. John, you spent uh, 20 years as a Maine warden. Did you start out to be a Maine warden at the beginning? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I first, uh, I left York County and, and went right directly to Waldo County as a game warden and uh, actually worked for three or four months before I went to warden school. So it's kind of on the job training. <laughs> And talk about what it's like at Waldo County where you were. Waldo County was a lot of old farmland. It was uh, probably some of the prime deer country in the, in the state of Maine, some of the best deer country. Uh, the reason I went there is the warden that was in that area before I, I arrived, uh, they shot the windows out of his camp uh, at night with his wife and daughter inside. So she obviously wanted to move out, and they wanted a single man to come in, and I got hired, and that's where I ended up. But uh, it was an area where wardens weren't popular. Uh, there was the town of Burnham was quite noted for its night activity, and uh, it was an area where I had to go in and make a new beginning and get to know the people and start out fresh. So, how big an area did you have to cover? Uh, I had almost 15 to 20 towns, and uh, we was responsible for coverage in those towns 24 hours a day, six days a week, and uh, was getting. I think $78 a week at pay at the time, which I figured it out as working anywhere from 110 to 120 hours, so I really wasn't getting rich on it, but it's a job I loved. The maid warden, it's really a varied job. You never know what's going to happen. You could be trekking in the woods one day and, and, and doing dives on a lake the next day. It's exactly. Good. It's quite varied. Yeah, you know, the thing I found out about it is uh, I kind of liked it because it was like going to the movie theaters. Every time I put the uniform on and went outside, I knew there was going to be a show. I just didn't know there was going to be a comedy or a horror show. Uh, may end up being a wildlife program, but uh, there always was something going on one minute to the next. You never know what you're going to be involved in. Uh, throughout your career, you kept a journal, which is what evolved into this book. That was the source of this. So, did you intend to write a book at the beginning, or you just kept the journal for yourself? Actually, when I left, uh, when I left York County, my stepfather was a game warden in York County for, uh, down in the Sanford area for 23 years, and uh, he gave me good advice when I went up there. He says, John, you probably ought to keep a diary, and, and keep a diary of the things that you really enjoyed, because when you retire, he says, you'll probably forget what you did yesterday, and, and having that diary, he says, you never know, you might want to write a book someday, and uh, I wish he was alive today to, to see the results, because I think it's gone fantastic, and, uh, and I'm quite pleased with it. A lot of the stories in the book, they range from, from very dangerous situations to sort of very humorous situations. Does that reflect sort of the daily life of the game warden? It does. I mean, you never knew, and like, we, like I said before, you never knew from one minute to the next what you was going to be involved in. And, uh, but I tried to keep, uh, I didn't want to humiliate anybody, but I tried to keep the humorous things. As far as the tragedies, the drownings, the hunting accidents, and all of the rest of that, uh, I didn't want to think about that later on. I wanted to forget it. But those funny things is what I wanted to record, and that's what I, what I ended up doing. You eventually became part of the community, and you talk about how many of the people that you've arrested or encountered it were, were friends and acquaintances, right. that thing. Right. How do you deal with that? It was, a, you know, I think it was quite a, a, a feat to be able to, uh, to sit down with someone you've had in court afterwards and go and have a coffee with them. Uh, I mean, most of the people, I tried to treat them as fair as I could. Uh, I always erred on the side of, of them, personally. I mean, if I thought they was making an honest mistake, I'd kind of try to overlook it. But uh, I think that, that by doing that, uh, you know, I didn't come across as being better than they were, uh, having a chip on my shoulder. And... I think that's a way that, that law enforcement ought to be. And, uh, you know, I had a job to do. I was working for the state uh, of Maine and the sportsmen of Maine, but I also was a human, and, and I tried to treat those people the same way. There's been a lot of uh, popularity about wardens now, the, uh, the, uh, the TV series Northwoods at Law. Yeah. Uh, do you think uh, wardens are now getting a little bit of their moment in the sunshine here? Oh, I definitely do. I mean, uh, I was talking to Chandler Woodcock, the commissioner, not long ago, and, and he said just the interest generated in the employment uh, aspect alone from that series has been unbelievable. And what better time to have a book come out? I mean, it, uh, uh, I understand they may do six more series for next year, but uh, you know, the timing of my book coming out in, in this couldn't have been better. And you think you have enough uh, stories to, for another book? 
Oh, definitely. Yeah, I could do two more books, yeah. and uh, you know, and I really enjoyed doing it. The kind of thing I like is like reliving my uh, career all over again. Every time I write one of those, I feel like I've relived the career all over again of the good things that's happened. What was the best thing about being a warden? I think the best thing was is, uh, being outdoors and uh, having the freedom to come and go when you wanted to. Uh, the luxury of most people, they, they couldn't wait for a vacation to go hunting and fishing and being outdoors. I had all that stuff provided to me, and I was getting paid for doing it, so how can you beat it?